Good morning world, it's a brand new day. I was about to be all like what are really mood, really our mood. Oh. I was about to. Il you was about to. Um, now right. our mood really was about ten minutes ago, and you've just like made it seem like we're on cloud nine. We are feeling. What's that saying? Worse for wear. Mm. Oh, we're feeling a little bit worse for wear today. Just hit bang on eight o'clock. We've been up about, well, I've been up since bang on seven because my alarm went off. We set an alarm for seven today because we're sick of waking up and then getting to the beach at 12 and then being like, oh, we've missed half the day. So we've set an alarm and um, we're feeling a bit tired because, well, I think El got the most sleep probably. I'd say you got three hours, four hours. Yeah. And I probably got about two. Maria probably got about two. We had a bit of a scary night. I'm shaken up. But like, I feel like saying it back to myself even this morning, like... It sounds silly. It, it sounds so stupid. We've been watching the vlogs. We're staying in like an apartment. It's not a hotel. It's just like... The locals live here, right? It's a local house. Maria's boyfriend's family, they own it and they are fully Sicilian. We're in a block of people which I assume we're only, the only English. I feel like the only English for quite a lot. Like, yeah. I haven't really, we haven't seen any other English. No. So everywhere we go, it's quite a small town. Like, yeah, so wherever we go, um, it is like we've got something on our face. <laughs> Maria said it's like, it's not common to see blondes. And... She keeps saying that like, she can hear people saying that they're English. Oh yeah, because obviously when there's me and Elle and Maria, Maria's talking English with us and she does sound fully English. And um, she's quite a pale Italian, soz. Um, so straight up, they think that we're just a group of English girls, but obviously she can speak Italian, so she, we'll walk in somewhere and she'll go, oh, they're talking about us. We've not been walking around, like, kind of checking, like, no, if we're, us. not, it sounds so stupid, like, being, checking if we're being followed, like, it doesn't even sound we stupid, haven't though. really had our wits about us as much, we're like, we was at the beach yesterday and Maria went, I'm going to go for a walk. And like thinking back, like we should be staying together. We are three young girls in a place where I'm not saying it's not safe, but anything can happen yeah, anywhere. No. Last night anyway, we had dinner at 11, chill. Yeah, we um, come back, Maria was like, should we go for a walk? And I was like, oh, I'm so tired. So we managed to talk her out the walk, which I'm actually glad about now looking back. Um, and then we just sat around the table for hours, didn't we? Just chatting. And we ended up going to bed about two and then we still was chatting. And then by the time we did like start to settle down, about half two, three, to half two-ish I'd say, um, we were like just trying to fall asleep and oh, I just hate stuff like this. So like, uh, it makes me feel on edge. Like I was like, you know when you just hear little noises and you're like, oh, stop being stupid, just go to sleep. And I was like, I'm not even gonna ask if the girls can hear them because I just don't want to make a thing of it. Yeah. So I just laid there and I was like, after about maybe two or three minutes, we could all definitely hear it. And it was more like slow. It's footsteps. It's, I, uh, if, it if someone bad. was gonna like burgle slash go in a room, it's something you'd it's, it's, imagine like something. imagine like walk, walk, and then stop. like stop, make sure everything's okay. See, like, some men are just... See, like, a man just walked past, like, fully just right stopped. <laughs> and then it was like, something would move, and then it would go quiet. So then, and you kind of... Oh, I still didn't know if you clocked and Maria went, no. Like, you naturally lie there still. I, I don't know why it. you do but it. Then, but then you put... I think we were imagining some yeah. of it, because you're literally like... It's like when you stare into pitch black, and, and you, you start, start picturing see things. things. Yeah. It's so it's loud out there. <laughs> Put the lights on. I don't know why, because lights make you concentrate. No, I don't. No, no, no. Yeah, because like, I wanted to. Yeah, because I wanted to see each other. No, I wanted to hear something that like what made me think that's hundred percent upstairs. We're being stupid. Mm. But they were getting louder and closer, and I was like, I'm it sounds like my hair out. Like shoes on this floor. I was nearest the wall, and I just wanted to hear something that made it sound like I could hear the direction above, but I could hear it next to me, mm. and I was like. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. That was normally the girl that's like, girls, chill. Like, it's nothing. But she was kind of like, I think because. I could see you going, I think because both of you were really. We kept on really no, serious. No. And you were both like, what are we gonna do? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was like, 
Oh crap, because of obviously the rain is from here as well. Everything's like, a bit scarier at half three at mm -hmm. night anyway. So it was pitch black. We turned the light on. But these apartments are like we were saying the other day, you could wake up in the middle of the day, come out and think it was the middle of the night because you mm. there's shutters so here and you can make it so dark. I could feel my eyes welling up, I could feel my heart my beating, heart I could feel my racing. stomach churning. My I part of me just wanted to be like, girls, can we just huddle up in the corner? Like, <laughs> and Elle was Elle on one side of me, I was going, just go to sleep, just go to sleep, just go to sleep. It's fine if we just go no, to sleep. No, because I was thinking as well, like, if say someone was in the house and they were gonna take stuff, like the best thing to do is go to sleep because you don't wanna disturb them. But then I was thinking, what if someone opens that door? So you got up and locked oh, the door. Oh, yeah. thank God there was a lock. I, I know, because so I don't think we would have slept. 100% nothing happened. That, that put me at ease, that lock. Yeah, I, I thought, oh, there's no one gonna sleep. So you were kind of trying to sleep. Me and Maria are opposite beds and we keep poking up at each other and going like, <laughs> Like, did you hear that? That was another noise. And then I'd keep opening my eyes and be like, go sleep. Like, yeah. you were just she, like, at one point, I don't, I think you didn't want to understand Maria. You was looking at me and she literally went, like, <laughs> sleep. And I was like, um, them two were like, did we lock the door? Oh, did we yeah. lock the balcony door? And the, you can jump, like, the, you could jump up on the balcony. It's not high. And they were like, did we lock it? And I was like, girls, I didn't go out there with you. So I had in my brain like, I don't know if they locked it. I'm putting my trust in these girls that like, I don't know if they locked that door. And you two were like, no, I'm sure we did. No, like, it was really unconvincing. It, it was like, did we lock it? But then I think there's ways, obviously there's ways in roundabouts you can open a door. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like shutters as well. So we thought that you could like wedge it open. Like we were just thinking of everything, I think. Mm -hmm. We set the alarm for early, still got up. And it took us about another hour to come out the room this morning. Because it's still like the whole, like, what what do you actually do if there is still someone and just sat there? Yeah, because it was dark, so yeah. we've got a lamp shade. Yeah, Maria walked out with a lamp shade. <laughs> and we, we come out with Do you know what it was like? Speech. When you first walked through, like, saw me. I don't think you can chat that before it wouldn't smell. No, <laughs> no <laughs> it's like, it's like one of them stupid glasses. Has anyone ever had one of their moments? Please, some. Oh, I've had them at home myself. I was saying to Elle, like, it's that annoying. I said, I, I can tell you're both looking at me, hoping I'm gonna be like, girls, come on, I'll go first, you get behind me. Yeah. Let's not be silly. Yeah. And I'm like that with spiders in the end. Oh, maybe it was someone after a drunk night out. Yeah. Must have been. You know, when like you're creeping through. Yeah, that, so that was another thing that was making it worse. Like, we were like, what are people doing at half three? Like, if it would have been like 11, we'd have been like, mm. they've just got back from the restaurant. People we'll go out late and they get back. Home. Yeah, to be fair. The fact that like, we were just out before and people know that it's just three of us and like people were walking up and down the apartment earlier on and know that it was just us three. We have been staying here for a couple of days now and we do kind of like scattily walk back. Scattily? Mm. Carelessly, carelessly walk back and we're like all giggly and loud. Which is fine because like you're on holiday and you don't like you don't, don't want to be on edge about it. But I do feel like there was it, it was a whole like it was a summer things like we're not in our own country. Maria is, but she doesn't really know the town too well. We don't know what the like as dramatic as it sounds. Like we didn't like are the police really like Crime, good here? Right. Would, would they come here just to check if someone's in the place? But anyway, we were considering like leaving and going back to where we were, but I think if we're just more careful. If we just look up properly and we're just not. If we're just more aware. When I was in the shower last night, me and Maria were on the balcony, it was like just getting dark, and um, we saw a guy like. I think people out here are just so chill. Like, he slowly was like taking his time walking down the road where our balcony was. But like it seemed a bit creepy didn't it like he was kind of making it look like he was busy and he wasn't i kind of caught on and i was like because mm -hmm. we, we were just leaning on the balcony and i didn't want to make it bait that we were talking about him so i would just kind of like gave maria the eye like kind of watch what he's doing and he walked round and then kind of got in the block that we're in and i was like Either he's so chill and that's how he Which walks people back are. from like the shops to his room <laughs> or he's just so like wanting to just see if there was an opportunity open and just walked over to the block and the door was open. I looked when he went in and I was like, Maria, 
we came in five minutes ago, did we leave that bloody door open? And then we was like, did we leave the door open? Yeah, you start questioning everything. And then we was like, did we just let some random her in? And it was like, we knew our front door was locked because obviously you come in the block and then it's like a block of flats at home. You come in the block and then like, you've got your own doors. But then I, we were like, but the doors look like there's not a problem. Like maybe he legit lives here. Maybe he legit has family here. Maybe he was just being nosy. But it was the way he was like an old man on his own. And he was kind of like strolling, looking at us, looking away, looking at us, looking away. What about yesterday when we were getting pictures by that Vespa outside? A car mm. literally, it's a dead end by the by the way. A car literally struck, like went past the top, saw us, came round. And it, I don't know if it was a coincidence. Literally parked his car up here, sat there for a couple of minutes, reversed it out because there was no way to like turn round. Then they parked their car at the bottom, walked up and went into a place. Like, so basically they, they go, caught us they go from a distance place. and drove around to watch us properly. But, but then, then they went into a place that was right there. Yeah. And yeah. it was like legit they for them. Last night. Yeah, like they're so from he, here. Yeah. But it was just weird the way people go about it, I think. Mm. Knackered, but. I literally feel like we've just done the flight again. It's 20 past eight. And we're gonna sleep on the beach. Yeah, we're gonna seize the day. Looking back, I feel like maybe if we watch this back, hopefully people have been through a situation where you realise it. There's some people out there that just don't aren't scared of stuff. I know I personally never, ever, ever say it on my own, even in England. We are out of our comfort zone and we were put in a position where we, we, were, we were so clueless and helpless. We were helpless. If something happened, then I don't know what we would have done. Yeah, we like, have, what do you actually like do? That. That's why when you said sleep, I was like, I really don't know if that's the best option. Like, okay, sitting here and going, <laughs> wasn't a better option. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to try and crack on over there and be normal. But um, that's a different intro for you. Um, I think the moral is just, like, be careful if you're going away on your own. Because and be aware. <laughs> we like, kind of wasted a whole night's sleep. Don't, um... Like take for granted just your safety. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day and let's crack on and see if we can liven ourselves up a bit. I'm 100% sure that we will. Yeah. So just strolled in the bedroom and um, so basically if you're trying to picture last night, Sid was here, I was here and Maria was over there. Um, and this is like the shutters, like even though it's 10 a.m. in the morning, it looks pitch black. Um, <laughs> Maria is a nutter. So she's prepared for like if it happens again. So, <laughs> and Maria, do you have anything to say about that? Safety comes first. <laughs> Safety comes first. Say it in Italian. Um. <laughs> that some no. <laughs> Back to our favourite spot. No joke, we've come here every day and sat at this table and since we got here. It's our little milkshake bar, but we're gonna have breakfast here today. Something new. Hope they do breakfast. Is our gal here? I don't know. It's really she the might day not, off. Yeah, she might not work mornings. You know. Oh yeah. She might just work afternoons because we was coming the afternoon. Wow. We're early birds today, gals. When you ain't been gym in a while. <laughs> I didn't even realise you. Booty on flick, booty on flick, Chloe Kardashian, who are you? Twerk, twerk, twerk. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. We just done a little bit of a bikini photo shoot and now it's my mate Elle's turn. I'm a little bit nervous. It's a little bit rubbish to lie there, that's better. So, um, what day is it? Tuesday. No, like what day of vlog? Four. So I actually just, um, I'm going to briefly talk about it now. I just put as my story that um, I found a new sun cream. Isn't it good? Be honest, what was my skin like when we first got here? skin so much. So I will, um, if you guys go back to vlog one, I don't mind, you can all bash me. Um, my skin was really bad. I'm not going to lie, like, they have, they, they're still dark marks from where they're, like, gone down. But they're not spots anymore. They're just dark marks. But once I, I was saying to Elle, like, when I tan, they go dark because the sun just... On them, and if you can see that, it's just so much better. When I lose this tan, um, and then it's like my skin's like renewed next time, then um, them dark bits will go. But um, they obviously, all that dark bits to cover with making up big lumpy spots can't. And I've always got discoloration here because of my big bits. So I'm much worse than I am. Now, 
uh, it's called an Avene. Yeah, and I don't know if you're going to get it in Italy. I'm not sure. No, you but, can, um, you'll probably get it online. I'll link it down below, and it's good if you've got oily, sensitive skin. Trust. I don't think it's going to be yeah. like chemical. No, it says it's like. If you're going like, to kind of read on it, it's like. It's, like says like cleansy. Maybe like perfume for it, stuff like that. Share on the Lila so it doesn't blow away. Maria probably. No. Is she okay? Look at all the chairs around everything. She's sitting on the dock of a boat. Watching the tide all the way. Oh my god. A good pick of like when you get the sea and the glasses pick. Yeah but they're so dirty. So um, Sid's trying to get rocks in my belly button. And she just got one in. Shake. No, don't. I've got it for the real. Look, there's one in there. Yes! <laughs> okay, belly button piercing. Oh, do you want me going to get that? Yeah. We were so convinced that we never did. Sun's out. <gasps> Sun. <gasps> Imagine tan lines. I changed into a bikini um, costume, and me and Maria found loads of bows for my pics on. Um, and this boat looked cute until we literally got up to it. Oh! No, it's fine. In that hole, literally a rat ran across and we were both like, ah! Like, ran away. I think these must be abandoned. Look at, also. Oh, stop it. What? Stop. <laughs> do that. I was gonna show that you're painting your toes. <laughs> She's painting her toes with the nail varnish because her gels came off. You thought I meant that there was another rat? Come on, climb on the boat. Right oh, these things are so Stop spiky. <laughs> oh my god, my hair is like a lion. We're gonna be really cute, and uh, we left Sid like asleep. And I think she's awake now. Well, she is. We just saw her. But we tried to sneak off so we can go get the pizzas um, left over from last night. We're gonna eat for lunch and deliver them to her. Hopefully, she'll be buzzing. <laughs> Pizzeria on the beach. Oh, that's not the yes. Oh, wow. Basically, the boys have come back from Casa Amor. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I thought you were watching Ty Ty Me. No, and they've put a clip of when Jack, Jack walks back in to. Is his name Jack? Jack and Danny. To Danny. And um, they've put the Titanic music over it. Are they like hugging back in, and they're all like. I really want to watch it. Literally. But half the boys have come back in with a new bay. Oh, <gasps> Josh. You're not singing. Mario, why should you do like So we're currently trying to log in to what ITV. Is my What's it called? We're trying to log into our TV hub so we can watch Love Island because apparently Jack and Nanny are the bee's knees and also Josh apparently is a cheat and a snake. You have forgotten all, your password. You gave all the big un... Would you like to say my password? No, because it's not important. Do you know what? You've got 17 passwords. 16, 16, 16. <laughs> hey, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Basically, it was cloudy on the beach. Um, so we're gonna watch an episode of Love Island, but now it's sunny, but we still really want to watch it. So um, come on, Maria, join us. Mary, ah, Alex booked her until twelve. Then she's on lunch. Then she's squeezing in Dean and Frankie for a two thirty. Everyone was trying to put in their own little fucking put their word in. Definitely, no. I'm not honestly he's talking down there. Yeah. He's got his uh, his hard heart on his spirit jacket <laughs> away. <laughs> You know what? In the scheme of things, we're both good guys. Both me, and me, and 
me and Meg just clicked a little bit better, I think. I mean, I was always oh, yeah, quietly comfortable. You know? <laughs> Nightmare. Wi Fi's gone. I'm just really driving up the wall. Honestly. What do we do? I don't know. We've got the option of going back to the beach or waiting until it comes back. <laughs> I think we'll wait. The last clip was when we were watching Love Island and Maria was asleep. <laughs> Thank you. Shock. We were going to go out earlier to eat, but it is now half past ten. <laughs> We've been trying to upload today's vlog and it just hasn't been working. The Wi-Fi is not on our side this little portable thing that we got at the airport we're gonna go to where are we going to a restaurant that you know or no a good one we're quite hungry i'm quite hungry you hungry oh my god so i'm wearing this um like oh co-ord from boohoo well it was a co-ord but i've had to put it with jeans now like a blue shorts but the rip in the butt I sat down and they literally let the whole butt was out. Completely ripped, so I've got jeans on. Outfit. My outfit is from Pretty Little Thing from the Maya Jamma range. Lime green. There's belly in it, tilt it down. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, isn't it? Outfit. Um, pretty Little Thing. <laughs> is it? Cute. And Sid's shoes. Very cute. Let's go to eat, eat. When we order food, Maria translates it and she doesn't translate it really quick enough. She looks over and goes, is that okay? And we're like, is that okay? Okay. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> do, they, do they come with bread? <laughs> bread comes with our mayonnaise. Ah, grazie. Thanks, Maria. Grazie, ma'am. Oh, a selection! Oh, yes then. Breadstick? Can we get butter or no? Mantequilla? That's what it means. Mm. What's it here? Oh. <laughs> it's hard being Spanish and having an Italian friend. I'm filming up here because she's naked. Oh. Clean your tongue, kids, because that is what causes bad breath. Mm -hmm. So this is the end of uh, day five, four, five, four. Hope you're enjoying the holiday vlog. It's been a great time. It's twelve o'clock and we've not even watched Love Island. We're gonna be basically jet lagged, you know. Yeah, no. Because we've literally been. I've, one. I've been going off three hours sleep today. Hmm. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. You're going to do that one black hair and then I'll leave you alone. Go on then. No, don't flinch. It's not fun. Please stay still. Please stay still. Please. No. I need to get to see if I've done it. <laughs>